I'm Rachel from Rachel Tutors Online, and today I am going to continue our series on literary devices by talking about foreshadowing. Foreshadowing is a technique that writers use in order to give the reader a glimpse of what is going to happen in the story in the future. This could involve sharing something that will happen later in the same chapter, it could point to something that will happen in the next chapter, or it could even point to something that will happen towards the end of the story. Authors use foreshadowing in many different ways. Sometimes they use character dialogue in order to hint at what is to come, but sometimes the foreshadowing happens in the narration itself. Let's look at some examples. We can always count on Romeo and Juliet to have an example of the literary devices we discuss. There are many examples of foreshadowing in Romeo and Juliet, but the most obvious example of foreshadowing is in the prologue. Part of the prologue reads, From forth the fatal loins of these two foes, a pair of star-crossed lovers take their life, whose misadventured piteous overthrows do with their death bury their parents' strife. Right in the prologue, Shakespeare hints at the fact that the story will not end well for Romeo and Juliet, who will die by the end. At the beginning of The Hunger Games, we are given a hint that something bad happens in Katniss's district and that it's not a one-time occasion. In the narration, she says, When I wake up, the other side of the bed is cold. My fingers stretch out, seeking Prim's warmth, but finding only the rough canvas cover of the mattress. She must have had bad dreams and climbed in with our mother. Of course she did. This is the day of the reaping. Prior to being selected as a contestant for the Hunger Games, Katniss hints at the fact that something bad is going to happen that has repercussions. Foreshadowing is used to create dramatic tension in a story, to build up suspense as the readers continue. It also helps to make events in a story more credible, more realistic, because the reader has a hint of what is to come. If you liked this video and would like to see other videos on literary devices, please click the subscribe button below so you don't miss my next video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.